So here's an odd little project for this very rainy, dreary uh, Saturday. I have this clipper, that uh, little hedge trimmer, that stopped working. And so I, I ended up getting a replacement, but I thought, well, since it's not working, I should try to see if I can fix it myself. Basically, I turned it on once, it worked fine, turned it on again, and it just died. It wouldn't do anything. So all I did was take off the blade, um, as you normally do. I mean, this is just the, it actually has a replaceable blade, one of the things I like about it. So I took that off, exposing the mechanism here. And then I saw all these little screws uh, in there. So I just unscrewed it and popped off the uh, that there. Actually, when I first did it, this didn't pop off. Um, this is the, the trigger, and it has a little uh, spring there. And it just goes right in. I don't know if you can see it. It goes, oops, actually, long way around. It goes right in here. Anyway, so I pulled this open just to see if, again, kind of to see if I could fix this. And you can see there's where the, uh, the, the, the battery, a little circuit board here, a little light in the back. And uh, there's the motor. And then as I was playing around, I noticed something. And namely, this black wire had come completely off this. So the soldering job was not very good here. Um, so basically just, as soon as it came in, this snapped right off uh, that lead. This is a really easy soldering job, fortunately, because you don't have to hold anything. You're just adding solder basically to that spot. So you don't have to clamp down the wire or anything. Um, so I'm going to use this little doohickey here. This is actually a propane torch, a handheld propane torch, that has a soldering um, nozzle on it. And so I'm going to turn that on and put it on continuous. There we go. Oops, that isn't, isn't quite happy yet. There we go. Continuous. There we are. That's going to heat up this tip uh, quite hot. And then down here we have some solder, uh, as you can see from the label. Now this is a silver bearing solder, meaning that there's a little bit of silver in there which makes it a little easier to work with. Um, there are sort of pluses and minuses of that. Um, but uh, uh, for, for, in other words, for some things, you don't want uh, silver in there. But for most things, it's fine. It just makes it a little easier to work with. We'll see how hot we are there. Are we melting any of the solder yet? Not quite yet. See if we're hot enough there yet. No, not Oh, there we go. Yep, we're getting some solder. So that's just sort of eating down that solder exactly what we want, then we should be able to go back over here and lay that solder onto there. And you can see it a little bit starting to melt onto there. And in fact, we're getting a little bit of fusion. Good. Oh, no, that's, that's not quite enough. I need a lot more solder. Oh, but my propane's dying out again. I still got a very hot thing. I should be able to lay that on there pretty well. Unfortunately, this is not wanting to hold it in a helpful way. We can see that starting to, to drip down there now. There we go. And that's just soldering that quite nicely. There we go. So we're soldering that on. It's just sort of gooping this solder onto the two connections so that they're nice and solid. And uh, it won't solidify immediately, but that should be enough put that pretty close in there, pretty well in there. There we go. I'm happy with that. Turn off that, that iron. And now um, we want to clean that off a little bit, so we'll, we'll, we'll clean that off in a second. But you can see, hopefully here, that little silver solder there, which is right now cooling, and forms a new connection there. And assuming I haven't dripped it too much anywhere, um, that should make this right as rain. So all, all I have to do is pop this back together and it, it'll run.